put on. And we observe that as the threshold is increased, we get better results. So from this, uh, not only that, with increased number of percent, uh, the value of the percentage energy, the number of the feature vector also increased. We got more feature. This uh, number of features that were selected were more. But then it is a trade-off between uh, how good accuracy you want and how many number of feature vector you can handle. Is it contribution? I'm trying to understand. I mean, so far, people have used these kinds of Fourier transforms and other terms. Is that right? And they so used far, their, people they have used one of those transforms. Yes, one of so those transforms, or just, just mostly, follow me and answer me. Okay, yeah. For my understanding, now, mostly they have to try to use the minutiae tracking uh, See, methods. Answer. Now, what are your contribution is? You take let's just keep to the you take two of those uh, types, yes. Walsh and someone else. Yes. And then uh, you find a hybrid uh, function or yes. transform. Yes. And then <laughs> analyze and then you find the error rate, the yes. type 1 and type 2 error, whatever exactly. you call it, they are lower and all that. Yes. That's yes. one. Yes. The other is using the wavelet channel. That is another. Is yes. that right? Yes. Absolutely. Am I right? Absolutely. So, that, so, so you take the current data, when I say the current uh, image yes. that yes. people are using. Yes. So you do hybrid transformation, you do wavelet hybrid transformation, and you find the type 1, type 2 errors, and the error rate, as you define the piece, type 1 to type 2, they are lower, efficiency is higher. Yes, absolutely. Is it, is it more expensive? Uh, no, not at all. No, it doesn't have to look at it. My entire work has been done on MATLAB. Right. And uh, the database that we have used, we got it downloaded from so the Hong Kong Polytechnic. That, that brings a, a more philosophical simplistic question for me. Yeah. Why have people done it? Uh, it's just a new, it's just a different way of looking at it. People till now have been looking at the the fingerprint or palm print as those minutiae. They think only in minutiae no, make a By far, uh, this is such an important topic, especially with the security being yes. so listening for yes. the last 10, 12, 30 years. You would have thought uh, more people would be looking for more elegant solutions to the same imaging to get higher resolution, people haven't done this. No, this people kind of have done in, 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 in the area of uh, minutiae. They've tried to extract minutiae in a better way, in a better and way, in a better way. But that not the hybrid it. transformation. Yes. This this way, generating the hybrid transform was our idea, right. uh, Dr. Kekre's idea. I mean, we have worked on that also. How a, a, a hybrid transform can be generated using two existing transforms. That was not done earlier. That itself is a complicated itself, process. Yes. I, I don't know. Uh, it, it, would that be a contribution by itself? It's a big contribution. It's a big contribution. Yes. And then so. making use of that transform in various applications, and this is one of the applications where so, I'm using. So uh, an applied mathematician would look at it and say, hey, that's interesting. Would you say that? Yes. Would you say that? Yes, it is, a, it is a lot of mathematical work. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so you do not only that, you also use that to in the in, apply it to the context of imaging. Yes. In the